I had to sneeze. You had to sneezy? A sneezyologist. <laughs> It's like you hit record, <laughs> and then the magic started. Just, yeah, it just started. Kisneziology. Yeah. I think that's what Jody's wife is. Or she was training to be a kisneziologist. <laughs> was she? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Good for her for branching. Just not doing the norm. Yeah, the normal no. kinesiology stuff. Damn, you think saying bless you's hard. Just wait. <laughs> Sorry, Curtis. Bless you. I got to take my shoes off because I don't do these things in shoes. Yeah? Yeah. It restricts the creative blood flow. Well, I'm sure there's a science behind it. I bet there is. You probably create better with your... I can't get the shoe off. <laughs> probably create better in bare feet. Or um, socks, just socks. Just no shoes. So when you go to sleep at night, it's best to be as cold as possible. Yeah. And you sleep better. The only thing you should have on... On? On. The only thing you should have on is socks. The only thing you should have on... Hey, ma. <laughs> hey, ma. Keep your socks on when you sleep because it helps your body temperature stay regulated. I don't know. Socks. You're supposed to leave your socks on. Morgan gets so mad. Like She's like, I hate that I have to wear socks to bed. She's like, I hate that I get cold. Why does she have to wear socks to bed? Oh, she gets cold. She gets cold. And that's the only thing. Like, her feet get cold. So she's like, oh, wear socks. So you think she'd like them? Yeah. But they're just uncomfortable. No, she just doesn't like wearing socks to bed. Man, her brain is just a constant state of conflict. <laughs> right. Like... I don't like socks, but you should because they keep you warm. But I don't but like I don't the way like they them. feel, but they help you. It's like a toddler in chapstick. Yeah. They help you, but I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what toddler talks that way, but... Yeah, I don't either. I've got one, and she doesn't talk that way. Ayla doesn't sound like a little demon either. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> My name's Bill Wilkinson. I think that was from The Conjuring too. You ever seen any of the Conjurings? Mm-mm. Man, those movies are crazy. Oh, um, really? I mean, so good. Like my by far my favorite like horror like franchise. Whatever they have, uh, the stories just flow. They've got good beginnings, yeah. Good middles, good ends. And you know what else they have? Good intros. A. <laughs> Yeah. I can't mute the mics during the intro anymore. Why? Well, you'll see later coming up in the podcast. I'm going to teasey tease that. Oh. It's the first time I've had this. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, you know why. I, yeah. thought, you, I thought you were like, oh, it clicked. Oh, that's right. We have a new... What is that? Bangsterberry? Bangster. Bangster. It's what I said I wish my nickname could be. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be a gangster. I want to yeah. be a bangster. I don't know anything about bangsters, but I, you know what I do know about? Gary Bankston with this nice ass chair and that nice ass chair. My spine has never been more erect. And mine has never been more comfy. Thank you, Gary. This is a soft little pillow of my ass. Like it's great. We're just gonna go back to thanking Gary, aren't we? I guess. It just flows better than Aaron Bankston. I don't know. Oh. It just does. I don't know. I guess because I'm so used to saying Gary. Sorry, Aaron. I don't know you. I just saw her for Easter. She made lots of food and I ate it. So I'm not going to. No. I'm not, I'm not going to uh, besmirch the good God name of Aaron <laughs> Bankston. Aaron, you deserve all the credit. Love you, Gary. I didn't get any food, so. Gary well, Bankston. <laughs> Gary Bankston. <laughs> I'm going to fight for Aaron. You fight for Gary. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll duke it out. Well, what you got? I'm going ham today, man. Mm-hmm. I have got a pint of Snickers ice cream. This is going to be my little treaty treat. I need to eat my treaty treat because it keeps melting. I almost I almost said it's going to be my treat for the week, but literally Easter was just a couple days ago, and I ate all of the food at the Bankston's. Oh, yeah. It was so good. Oh, it's slightly melted. So just for those of bit. you listening, cool. we went to the, Q- oh. the QT. <laughs> I could hear that in the, that first layer of ice mm-hmm. just crunch under your tongue. Mm-hmm. That was graphic. Mother Parker. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that are listening, I dropped a piece of my creamsicle on the table. Mine came with a bucket. I'm okay. Yeah, well. We can't all have buckets, yeah. I guess. We're a couple of children. 
Oh, it's so good. I'm so, glad we did this. I'm glad we did it too. And <laughs> I'm going to get criticized one way or the other. So your mm-hmm. wife, Morgan, who is a ice cream connoisseur, uh-huh. tells me I should eat more ice cream. I should eat more bad stuff mm-hmm. versus my chicken 12 times a day. So yeah. I finally get a pint of ice cream that I tell her I'm going to eat. I'm not only going to eat it, but I'm going to showcase the fact that I'm eating ice cream. Yeah. And she just kind of shakes her head. I'm like, what? She's like, man, you messed up. You could have got like Twix. I'm like, come on. Well, I'm she doesn't like Snickers because it gives her a headache. Oh, poor baby can't handle a peanut. Can't handle a Snickles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why she wanted a Twix. A Twix. <laughs> it just works. That word works for that <laughs> voice. <laughs> Snickers gives her headaches. Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. It probably doesn't. She probably had a headache while she was eating the Snickers and said, Snickers gives yeah, me a headache. Correlation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I almost watched Coraline this past weekend for the first time. You ever time. seen it? I, no. I would have found out if I let you finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> you had your mouth full. It would have been a lot easier to just let me finish talking. It would have been easier to shut the fuck up and let you... <laughs> That was worth it. Man, you devoured that. Well, if I didn't, the heat would have, and it would have been cream juice. <laughs> cream soup. Cream soup. Cream of... Cream of orange soup. Cream of sherbet. <laughs> that was good. Mm. Yeah, I was more worried about it melting, as we saw where it fell on the table. Or heard, if you're listening. Yeah, I'm glad you, uh, glad you scooped that up. Me too. What if I was just like, oh no, I fell on the table. <laughs> Nobody would have thought any less of you. Yeah. I mean, I would have, but we'll save these for a little bit later in the show, but I also got some ruffles and a Milky Way, salted caramel. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I probably shouldn't have ate all that. I told Morgan she could have a bite of it. <laughs> oh, oh well. that yeah, that was It was melting. Happen. It's not my fault. We we'll go ahead and set our timer for the Curtis segment. I was just. You good? Well, my mic's not. <laughs> I, I was, see that. I was just, trying to tighten just went it limp earlier. I was gonna say. Oh man, um, it is warm in this room. Is it just me? No, it's a little warm in here. I'm kind of regretting this shirt. <laughs> I'm regretting wearing clothes. We'll just, that's what we'll do next podcast. You do the whole thing naked. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I didn't, yeah. I didn't Match me. <laughs> Match me. We never posted that. No, we didn't. So uh, another little teasy tease. Uh, our featured content creator for this week. Mm-hmm. We'll get to them in a little bit. Um, but I just want to let you know that they do, uh, let's see, how about podcasts? They got a little podcast of their own. How about, I don't know, music? There's music somewhere. I know they do music. I just couldn't find any. And then, uh, what else? They write? Just a, just, just a, a plethora of things. And they're a friend of yours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I met them uh, at their own convention, which is another thing that That's they've done. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Talk about a creator. Yeah. Yeah, created a convention. Um, so, yeah, we'll hit that later. Uh, but... For those of you that want to do your homework and be a little called up, that is Ando Valentine. And you can look that up and do a little bit of research and get acquainted with them while we, I don't know, remain ignorant. <laughs> it's like the old Tom Worley, remain vigilant. Oh, yeah. The CS podcast is just going to be remain ignorant. I- remain ignorant. <laughs> I like it, it. Ignorance is, is bliss. We're on cloud nine. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's a t-shirt ign- idea. That is a t-shirt. If ignorance is bliss, we're on cloud nine. CS podcast. And it's our faces in a little cloud number yeah. nine. <laughs> <laughs> I just created the design. Yes. Can't ask me what I did for the week or what I created. It's it's that. That. It's, and I just peaked. <laughs> you peaked. Yeah, the rest of this podcast is going to be crap because of you. Thanks, man. Sorry. I'm... I'm pretty. That's kind of my gimmick. I, <laughs> you, I just you shit all over everything. Well, no. <laughs> what a gimmick. <laughs> no, my gimmick is I, I. I bring all the excitement. Uh-huh. It's really fun. It's really interesting and intense and just doggone passionate for like a minute, 
and then it's done. Well, then. <clears throat> I'm still talking about... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're creating. My creating, yeah. <clears throat> that had to do with creating at one point in time. <laughs> it did. <laughs> and her name is Ayla. <laughs> wow, what a great... You did that. That's what I do. I you peek and do all this, and then I bring it back to reality and just ground it and cement it. Just bring it around and mount it. Mount it. Yeah. (laughs) I make it a little more personable. And then you show me how to waft that towel. Yeah, this is how you waft a towel. If you don't know about that one, go back and three episodes ago. I don't know. It was that was the Jake Jacobs experience. Is what that was. Mm -hmm. You can go back to that one. The Jake. Let's see. It's the the, iHeart government debacle. Yep. That is the episode. And last week's, uh, The Road to Hell is Paved with Partial Wieners. <laughs> that has got to be my favorite so far. Yeah, I know. I still feel kind of bad because, like, like I was telling you when I was doing the thumbnail for that, I was going to use uh, like a like a, like a a clip from the interview that we did with Cassandra down in Florida. And I was yeah. like, man, I just don't know if she wants, like, that beautiful picture of her octopus, like the tentacles, like not the octopus, the octopus. Right. There's the two different things. just fell off the table. Damn it. Sorry. Um, so I didn't. I didn't think she wanted that to be associated with partial wieners. So I was like, yeah, I probably. I probably use a different different thumbnail for that one. <laughs> she liked our Instagram post. That's that's cool. Oh, she did. Yeah, good. Or I assume it's her. It could be her partner. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's her husband or her boyfriend or her spouse or whatever it was that was with her. But it could, could have been them running the Instagram account. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, and could she it? probably never saw it. That's correct. <laughs> It could have been her three-year-old son, who is a wizard with social yeah. media. Yeah. And um, we should have interviewed him. Yeah. He could have taught us everything we need to know. Right. We could be viral right now and we're not. Because we didn't talk to Tanner. Yeah. I don't know if his name's Tanner. I, was like, I don't know. I don't think we ever asked. We didn't. Man. We suck. I don't know why I got lumped into that. <laughs> I don't know why we as a collective suck. Like, <laughs> this is a you could have done your diligence and asked the kid. Like, I could have. I'm over here all worried, and tuned yeah. up about it. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Sucking down that bankster, Barry. That bankster Barry. It's not bad. Uh, <clears throat> I could have been simple and just had like a cup of coffee. No, you could Instead have caffeine, <laughs> but I wanted to. What's that? Oh, that's be your... complex. <laughs> I had this up on the mantle. The, I'm just gonna shut the camera off. We're just gonna walk away now. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, yep, I told you the content creator's name. Go check them out. And I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm just, <laughs> just it's it's not gonna get worse. Than, yeah, it might. You peaked. You were right. I peaked <laughs> you again. Were right. And then, and then that's the trick. That's the surprise. You yeah. thought I'm. Done. You thought I was done. <laughs> Give me about fifteen minutes. I'm gonna come back harder and more passionate. I didn't mean to say it that way. <laughs> I really didn't. But I, good lord, I'm supposed to be the clean one. <laughs> I know. Mr. Armstrong is looking at you disappointed right now. He just cannot believe it. We asked him to be a guest, and he's <laughs> now he's turning it down. Now he's he's calling all his PR. He's like, no, 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 no. G- g- he's calling his agent. I don't need to be on that podcast. S- s- scrub my that. name. Yeah, scrub my name from it. I'll scrub all affiliations because he is the head mf'er <laughs> at Three Count Pro Wrestling. <laughs> so I filled out a resume today, or I updated my resume. Yeah, and I put down references. And our good friend Josh Smith, aka Ace Armstrong. Mm-hmm. Former three count pro wrestling heavyweight champion. Yep. I asked him if I could use him as a reference, and I said, "Can you please tell me the name of your company that you work for and your position?" He's in like a supervisor role. Yeah. I thought this will look good. Yeah. So when I asked him his position, he simply responded with "head m effer," <laughs> and that's how he spelled it. He didn't say he didn't spell it out. Yeah. It was m f e r. Yeah. Head m effer. So of course I fill out my reference section and then I take a screenshot of it and it says it doesn't say Joshua Smith it says Ace Armstrong <laughs> and then over to the side head M effer three count pro wrestling and then former heavyweight champ dot 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 bitch <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite thing about that 
that resume is the fact that you're like, you mind if I put you down as a reference? I was like, sure. When you could have put down, I don't know, Josh Hip, our boss. <laughs> Actual. You opted for me instead of our boss. Well, I actually changed it. No, you did. But originally, you were like, can I use you for a reference? And I was like, yeah, sure, go for it. Yeah. yeah I was like, <clears throat> Trey Falco, program, like, I, I don't know. Like, you you do shows. You yeah. produced shows. Yeah. So I was like, hey, that'd be solid. Yeah. And you said you could put down assistant promotions director. Or, assistant in parentheses. Uh, yeah. Because it's, it's an unofficial title right you might as well have been yeah or or whatever were um but then i thought or i could just put down our good buddy josh hip (laughs) i could put down our promotions director right (laughs) i could have put down aaron michael as a reference on air dj aaron's on my reference is he really i have him as a reference well see i it's not like i'm not buddies with him yeah i could have put that down music director he's the music director we'll see sounds better than on-air talent it really does I mean, like, it's well, cool. A, it's cool. Like, people, oh, he's an on-air talent, but, like, that doesn't put down music director. Like, he's a director of music. Oh, that sounds official. He's got responsibilities. Yeah. He doesn't just have a bottle of Jack Daniels under the table <laughs> drinking while he's on air. Like, that could be him. Yeah. And he's saying, I'm a cool guy. <laughs> he doesn't, by the way. <laughs> he does not. He does not. He does yeah. not. I want to clarify that, that. He does not. I was not saying Aaron Michael <laughs> specifically. I was saying any radio on air. Any on air. Yeah. Yeah. It could be possible, it's, who but, knows. But, yeah, but music yeah. director, there's no way they're doing that. Yeah, yeah, they're a director of music. When really, you got to, probably most music directors are over there getting hammered on their DJs or, <laughs> you know, eating kale. Yeah, who knows? To me, that's the opposite of drinking Jack Daniels is yeah. eating kale. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you make an inspirational quote thing, uh-huh. just throw one up with me. It's, to me, the opposite of drinking Jack Daniels is kale. We'll have just a bunch of them littered with our, just up here, just inspirational quotes. Hey, what's this, by the way? That is a third microphone, a a nice microphone. It is, that just got in this week, or yes, yesterday. Yesterday. And yesterday. I was outside on the driveway talking to Mr. Holcomb, and, um, never mind, um, and that came in. I was like, oh, hey, I should probably get their mail for them. And then she handed me a box, and I was walking back up the driveway, and I'm like, huh, I wonder what they got. And I look yeah. down, I'm like, oh, it's our mic. <laughs> just my, I love that they just taped the top of it. Oh, it you was, see that? The, well, the side of it, look, it, it was, was all ripped. jacked up. Oh, I know. So the first two we got came in a nice box all together. Like, it was like an Amazon box. And that one, they just, they just taped around, like they just taped around it. Yeah. <laughs> like in a circle. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of jacked up, like. Yeah, for those that watching, I didn't. It didn't. We didn't open it that way. No, it was already it, like that. It came torn. Mm. What? I have another joke about peeking and 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 tearing. I'm probably not gonna <clears throat> go down that rabbit hole. Do I need hole. to pull up the joke of the day. <clears throat> I actually don't know if I have that downloaded and loaded in. Oh. Well, it's not like a like a well thought out joke. It's just oh, going to be okay. more of a comment. Okay. About me peeking and tearing. Well, then I won't. I won't play it. Don't. These things are good. Mm-hmm. I deliberately wanted to wait until and open them on air to try them. They're pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I might as they're well. They're no Cheetos hot fries, but they're pretty good. I'm I'm ruining my diet completely. I want to dip this in ice cream so bad. Do it. I'm not going to judge you. They nope. might. Okay. I'm going to dip this flaming Hot Ruffle in this Snickers Briar's ice cream. I'm just name dropping all the things. <laughs> it's <laughs> thick. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> oh, man, look at the, the spicy powder on the ice cream. That just looks yummy for some reason. I might be pregnant. I don't know. <laughs> Why am Sorry. I craving this? <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Worth it? Oh, yeah. That's how you break a diet. Hmm? So that's how you break a diet. Hmm. I told you, like, you see me eat really clean, but... Oh, uh, yeah. When I go... When I, like... I almost said, when I cheat, I cheat, but... <laughs> when, I, when I go for a... 
If you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. For clarification, Josh is not a cheater. No, I am not. Uh, but it's funny as it pertains to my situation. Mm-hmm. Anyways, we'll just let that simmer for a little bit. Yeah. So for I, those of, those that are trying to get into clean eating, what do you recommend? Not watching us right now. <laughs> Besides all. that. Well, they need to watch us right now because you're about to tell them how to eat cleanly. Oh, I am? I don't know. I figured it'd be a good, I don't know. Sure. I can, I can dabble. I have a whole segment, Clean Eats with Josh. Oh, it was me. Yeah. Absolutely. I had four different Josh names go through my head right there. <laughs> yeah. I had to land on it. I almost said Josh Smith, and I went, nope. And then I almost went Josh Hip, and I went, nope. That ain't it. And I was like, Josh Mike, nope. <laughs> Going Josh through Oglesby. Just, just the guy in front of you right now. Well, I know. you do this show 12 with. Twelve different Joshes. Yeah. Only do a podcast with one of them, though. Just saying. I ain't jealous. Yeah. It's at least once a week. <laughs> at least. So, health tip of the day. Mm-hmm. Carbs are your friends. Oh, yeah. Good carbs. Not these kind of carbs. Yeah, I was just say, what's the difference? Between, what's, a, what's a bad carb? What's a good carb? Well, depending on the on what you're about to do or have just done, mm-hmm. um, it would depend. Now, typically, complex carbs are your sweet potatoes. Okay. Your simple carbs are your regular potatoes. They are higher on the glycemic index. Okay. So they spike your insulin a little more. And... If you the complex do, um, simple. Oh, okay. Okay. So think, so a a baked potato, a regular white baked potato, mm-hmm. would be considered a simple carb. Okay. Sugar from this ice cream would also be considered a simple carb. Okay. Clearly, one is better for you than the other. Yeah. So you can't just slap a sticker on one of them and be done with it. But they digest at similar speeds. Okay. Versus complex carbs. So say you have an office job, you go to sit down, and you want to have, I don't know, chicken and a potato. Mm -hmm. And you have the choice between a regular white baked potato versus a sweet potato. Well, you're not going to be moving a whole lot while you're at your desk job. Mm -hmm. You want it to digest much slower. If it digests faster, your your body can't burn it off fast enough. Okay. It's just going to, you're going to get spiked and it's going to digest as fat because you're not going to burn it. Now, with a sweet potato, it's going to digest much slower. It's going to sustain you. It won't just get deposited as fat. Yeah. That's a very simple way of putting it, but um, it will sustain your, it'll keep you hungry or more full. It'll keep you fuller longer too. uh, It'll keep away hunger. But if, say, you're about to eat lunch, and then you know two hours you're going to go to the gym, you're mm-hmm. going to, I don't know, get off I'm work. I'm probably not, but I'll take your word for it. Sure. Well, yeah. let's just say Veronica working at uh, the home office of Home Depot. Yeah. Home Depot's home office in um, New Mexico, Victoria, know, Texas. Texas. Victoria, Texas. Veronica works in Victoria, Texas at Home Depot's home office. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> yeah. She's living it her best life. What a, what a life. So she's going to go to the gym. She's going to go to the gym in two hours. With her buddy John. With her buddy John. Yeah. Sure. Um, he is her assistant. Yeah. He feels a little emasculated when he goes home. His wife kind of gives him crap for it. Yeah. And he's like, you have to remind me every day. So Veronica asks him to go to the gym with him. And he's like... That's fine. Let's go, Veronica. Yeah, I'm gonna wife. You. Yeah, wife texts him. Well, he's just Veronica's just a tool at this point. Yeah, she's just to get back uh, at, at, at his, his at his wife. His wife, Kimberly. Kim Kim is so not threatened mm-hmm. by Veronica. The fact that he is her assistant. Well, she shouldn't be. Veronica's not as pretty as Kim. She's not. There's a competition there. But when you're dealing with females, yeah. they can be a little fickle. They just they because be she doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing yeah she's still very much jealous veronica might be giving her something that kim isn't giving john yeah you know like playtime play we'll go with playtime yeah. yeah. in the gym playtime playtime so he texts he texts kim and says uh <laughs> hey honey i'll be home just about an hour later he works a, he works a little over veronica yeah. goes home while john stays at the office yeah typically 
She's a dynamic works. He's the assistant. That's he's got to stay. He's the grunt. He's got to put in the work. Yeah, he's got to get the next day ready for Veronica. Yeah. So he texts his wife. He says, hey, honey, I'm going to be home about an hour, hour and a half later. Oh, uh, Veronica, leave you with a lot of work? No, I've got to got to help her with a with a project. Oh, what project is that? Well, she's trying to get in better shape. Yeah. And, uh, you know. And I'm into fitness, Kim. You know I'm, I'm into fitness, Kim. Kim is naturally blessed with... Uh, fitness a a better body like her genetics were much better than than john's john really had to work for it and put in work kim could just sit and eat her complex carbs on the couch and just be fine whether she's sitting at a desk or not yeah doesn't matter if she's working out yeah yeah um but it's gonna catch up with her that metabolism she doesn't know i don't know like 40 she it's like 45 50 somewhere around in there oh it's over and then you gotta be careful you gotta watch what you eat you eat and all that stuff and then you know it just it just sneaks up on you it does. It will. She has it coming. And in the meantime, Veronica's over here working hard to get in better shape. <clears throat> and John's going to appreciate that. John's going to appreciate that she's put in more work yeah. than his wife. He sees that there's a will yeah. behind those eyes, and there's a there's a soul. Yeah. So, anyways, he, um, <laughs> he tells her he's going to be home later, and she goes, oh, you're, you're going with Veronica to the gym. That's... That's interesting. That's new. Yeah, that's new. All right. Um, did she invite you? Yeah, yeah, she did, when really he offered. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't tell Kim that. He wants her to think that he is being desired yeah. to help out in another female's life. And we'll say that that is part one of John Veronica. Man, Victoria, and Texas is juicy. <laughs> that's uh, it's going to be a sitcom one day. One day. Yeah. So... Anyways, since she's going to the gym, <laughs> she could eat a regular potato because she's going to need that energy to be burned. Yeah. Or, or she's going to need that fuel sooner rather than later. She yeah. doesn't need a slow digesting thing. She needs something to, like a banana. You want to wake up in the morning, your body's been fasting all night. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that your body burns carbs versus the protein. You don't want it to burn protein. You want the no. protein to be digested. You yeah. don't want it to get used as energy. You need to feed your muscles. Because the bigger the muscles you have, the more calories you burn at a resting rate. Yeah, they get hungry. They're hungrier. They get hungrier. You got to feed them. Yeah. So, bananas, things like that, they have their place. Yeah. You just wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to eat a banana at lunch. That was a good journey. I appreciate that insight. <laughs> yeah. I just figured you do a lot of the health and fitness stuff, so why yeah. not put that knowledge to work? I definitely knew that I wanted to bring yeah. that knowledge to the podcast and you're welcome i just gave you a health segment don't don't waste it yeah guys take that in <laughs> ignore the tiny sidetrack <laughs> every health tip is just going to be it's going to take place in victoria texas <laughs> <laughs> i love that i'm gonna, just gonna somehow segue into it and i'm gonna watch it and be like how's how are they gonna do it this time i think that the people who whenever we say if you know you know mm-hmm and then the people who might have been picking up on these little things that yeah. been dropping might think that that it has has something to do with what happened in my real life. Yeah, it really doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, not at all. That is not. Which the is story. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like I was like, yeah, and then this happened, and then this happened. Yeah. But no, nah, it's just called building drama and tension. Yeah. Storytelling. Storytelling. I just created a story. Yeah. I'm getting all my creating on the podcast done. You know who's really good at storytelling? I actually don't know this for sure, but your father. <laughs> I got a good piece of news before we started this podcast. What is that news? That old Stan is going to be on the podcast, and I get to meet him for the first time in my life, because I've never met this man. I only have to have you to live vicariously through to experience his wisdom. His wisdom, <laughs> his infinite quips, his infinite stories. That could potentially be... Like a three-parter. I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say two parts. If we wanted yeah. to keep our podcast down to an hour and a half, it, yeah. it could be part one and part two with him. Yeah. Man, he might be our golden goose. Yeah. Our golden ticket. We might just say, hey, Dad, we just made like a few hundred bucks off ad revenue from you <laughs> from talking. You just talking. We're going to need you to come back. You just, he'll, be, he'll be a permanent guest. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, Papa Stan. Could you uh, interview this creator? What the hell you do, boy? <laughs> Stan, we've got David on the line. 
David and my dad on the <laughs> podcast. We could we could we could literally just sit stand right here on the microphone, have David on Discord, pop an AirPod in your dad's ear, and just walk away. Yeah. And then they'd feed the it'd be entertainment for at least an hour. At least. <laughs> uh, I won't ever forget David helping my dad and I. My dad and I have a very small painting and pressure washing business. Mm-hmm. We just kind of do it on the side. If we get work, we do it. Yeah. We're busier than others at times. Bu- yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> we had David help us with a pressure washing project last <laughs> summer. And uh, Oh, this was just last summer? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I, I don't know why I was thinking this was longer. No, not even a year ago. Um, it might have been in the spring because David yeah. was doing schoolwork from home because of COVID. Mm-hmm. So not quite a year, though. And my dad asked David to do something. And David didn't do it. He, he he misunderstood my dad, what he was asking him to do. And my dad said, come on, David, get with it. You're acting like your mama's people. <laughs> and my dad doesn't know David's mom's people. <laughs> it's just a saying. Yeah. So David just kind of, he doesn't acknowledge it. I know he hears it. Yeah. He doesn't respond to it. And a little bit later I said, you don't, like, you, you didn't get that, did you? He's like, yeah, I was trying to think when he met my mom's people. <laughs> I'm like, it's just a way to say that. <laughs> but my dad wouldn't take the time. Like, he, he'll just say it. Yeah. Part of his... Which is incredible. I what? love it. And he feels no obligation. Like, if I said that to you, and you're like, what? I'd be like, eh, it's just a saying, blah, blah. Like, my dad will not explain it. He I don't just, know, son. I don't know, son. It's just a joke. <laughs> So, yeah, I am thrilled. I need a picture of Stan to put on a t-shirt. Just, I don't know, son. It's just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a picture. Have you ever seen a picture of him? No. Oh, no, no. You showed me because you showed me him and his twin. Okay. It was an older picture. Yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah, it was an older picture. Yeah, I do remember you showing me that. She's like, yeah, that's him. That's his twin. And I go, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. And, you know, my, my uncle Steve, uh-huh. his twin, is just as funny. Yeah, oh, is he? Yeah. He he has a slightly different way of executing jokes, but it's yeah. not much different. So right. Steve's twin is just as funny? My... <laughs> the, the way you accentuated ex- that, it sounded like... You go, yeah, my Uncle Steve, his twin, is just as funny. Oh, I didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> That's what I, was, I, thought no. it was, I thought you were running with a joke, like... Because oh. your dad Stan would be his twin, right? Is just as funny. Like, oh that's, no, that's the joke. I didn't mean to say uh, Steve, <laughs> my dad's twin, is just as funny as my dad. There we go. Um, and my cousin Tyler, uh, mm-hmm. Steve's son. Yeah. He, he, I mean, like same sense of humor. So you get like the four of us together. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> this past Christmas, I got to hang out with all of them and. Uh, a couple of my other uncles. Yeah. And it just, uh, that dynamic, like now that I'm older, like when I was a kid, I would just hear yeah. stuff and hear jokes and I would kinda just kind of laugh. laugh along. Yeah. But now that I'm older and I've developed my own brand of humor, uh-huh. my own style, and you just get the ogles be gentlemen yeah. together. And I left like belly aching just from laughing. <laughs> I'm like, man, why don't I spend more time with my family? Like... Yeah, it was yeah. a good time. Well, you know, COVID and all that makes it real difficult. Yeah. We could have a therapist said, why don't you spend more time with your family, Joshua? I let everyday life and my own things get in the way. I, I put that for, I prioritize yeah. that <clears throat> over making time. And how does that make you feel? A little sad. <laughs> Trying to work on that. <laughs> I've got a lot more free time nowadays. Good. We'll work through it. A lot less weight holding me down. Between now and the next podcast episode, what's something you want to work on? My real estate course. I really need to finish that <laughs> yeah. thing up. That's what my therapist asked me. He'd be like, what do we want to work on for next time? What's something you want to... I need to call and make an appointment, by the way. So I went, had my therapist appointment, what, last... I don't know, whenever it was. And uh, <laughs> I was like, yep, sat there, paid. And I was like, all right, see you later. Walked out. Big gulps, Got huh? home. <laughs> Big gulps, huh? Got home, and I was like, I didn't make another appointment. <laughs> so I'm like, I need to call them, and I have not. Hmm. So. So, <clears throat> what do you like to work? What do you like to work on? What is what is something from one session to the other that you're like, I think I want to work on this? As far as, like, therapy? Yeah. It just depends. Okay. Um. So, like... 
right no obligation now. to answer. No, I know I know. that's all. Yeah, I know that's all personal shit. That we're gonna drag out. It's okay. I need to be held accountable at some point. So. <laughs> Okay. No, I'm if an open okay book. With it it? Yeah, no, it doesn't bother me. I'm pretty open. I don't talk about it because people don't ask. Like, I'm not going to give you information, but if you ask me, like, I'll give you information. <laughs> you know? Is that a hint for me to just stop talking as much? No. Okay. No, it's not. It's no jabs. No right hooks. No uppercuts. Nothing. And no a power bomb and DDT. Uh, no European uppercuts. Yeah. What's a European uppercut? Mm, it's, well... It's an uppercut. Uh huh. It originated in Europe. Oh, see, I thought it was something like an Australian kiss. <laughs> no. Yeah. Which? Oh, that's it's a that's a headbutt, right? No, an Australian kiss is like a French kiss, but down under. Oh. <laughs> oh, so no, <clears throat> no. Check it out. I asked that question uh-huh. because uh, Arma, Jacob Armachain, yeah, who we'll have on the podcast one day. We need to schedule his meeting too. Like we need to get with his people. We do, yeah, and get with his people. <laughs> we'll get with we'll get with uh, Zo- <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> we'll get with Armachain's mama's people. <laughs> yeah. Um. So he told me that he was on Omegle. Um. Recently, is that how you pronounce it? I, I always thought know. it was Omegle. I don't think it's Omegle. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, though. It kind of like, sounds like my last name, O'Meaglesby. Ome- <laughs> <laughs> Josh O'Meaglesby. I'll, I'll create my own version of it. But he was on there, and he said, uh, he got real excited to tell me this. Yeah. He was like, dude, guess what? He goes, I met two uh, two uh, Scottish chicks mm-hmm. on O'Meagle. O'Meagle. I think it's O'Meagle. I'm going to say O'Meagle. Okay. And... Uh, he said something about them having thick accents. So at first, I thought he said he met two thick Scottish girls <laughs> on a meagle. Uh, Dude, you'll love this. I'm like, what? This is your gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> two thick Scottish girls. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, brother. Where are we going with this? <laughs> um. Anyway, I wonder how many dicks he had to wade through to get to the two oh. Scottish women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes. Um, I got a really good friend of mine. He's from Scotland. <laughs> Just, yeah. And, then, <laughs> and they're like, really? Where's he from? He goes, uh, it's like, it's like Glasgow. And they're like, oh, you mean Glasgow? I'm yeah. like, you sounded American. You called it Glasgow. That's yeah. how Americans say it. Cause that's how it looks. Yeah. That's how, that's how our brains work. Well, that's how yeah. it's a look. That's how it looks. So we've got to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> so they started asking him questions. Oh yeah. Grilling him. Grilling him. Well, <laughs> We'll put a pin in that story. I think you went last time. I don't know. Well, Quaid went last time. Yeah. And we kept talking about how I kept going first, so you went first. Now it's my turn, I believe. Sure. For those of you at home listening, it is now time for... The Curtis segment. <clears throat> Sorry, I had indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> it's now time for me to puke on my mic. What's that? That's that flaming hot ruffles and that Snickers ice cream catching up to you. <laughs> Got the flames to tune me up. And the You're not in your coming. 20s anymore, Josh. <laughs> no, I'm not. I feel like you always pull a yellow one. I've been pulling yellows lately. Let's see what it is. What it is, yo. What it do, baby? What that gumball do, though? Pop. Oh, I've already got this one. What is it? Who is the messiest person you know? Oh, yeah. You Still David. <laughs> still David <laughs> update still David you may have pulled that one when we had was was that the David episode okay. there was a few before that there we go it's red so We're, far I'm the only one that's pulled a blue oh that's right and what was it smiley face and what was the smiley face? It's whatever. Another, yeah, I got to. I didn't have to do anything that week. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was last episode. Nice. Yeah. Oh. What'd you get? It's gonna be my first ever yoga pose. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> Hang on, let me finish my ice cream before I pull. Before I strike this yoga pose. <laughs> you don't want to pull a hammy. I did have some Canadian hammy though earlier. <laughs> Clan war is about to end. Just so you know. I should probably attack. You should probably do that. While you're looking that up. Yeah, I've got a yoga. 
Anatomy and fitness. Anatomy of fitness. <laughs> the look on your face. <laughs> I almost knocked my mic over. Oh, that's a whole. Oh. Uh, oh, that's a that's a. Uh, I don't know which a sequence. That's a sequence. Mm. Not a sequence. <laughs> Not a seek twice, but a seek once. The sun salutations. That's another sequence. Got us 12 sequence. 20, 6, 19. Did you catch my seek once and my seek twice? <laughs> okay, I, I didn't wanna... think you caught it. That's why I wanted to repeat it. Oh, no, I wasn't laughing at that. <laughs> Sorry, this one was funny. I'm just going to continue to eat my ice cream. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with this one. It's easy, but... What's it called? Oh, God. It's called the corpse pose. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to show the camera really quick. I'm going to just clean out a spot. The corpse pose. I don't even know how to... Sh- Hold on, I lost my page. <laughs> Rewind, I don't remember what the corpse pose was on. All right, I'll give you a choice. I'll give you a choice. Would you rather the corpse pose or the cam- camel pose? The c- corpse pose or the camel pose? Yeah, not the camel toes, the camel pose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I found the corpse pose. Um... I don't know. I feel like the camel pose. I mean, when you think corpse, you just think like, like a, just lay still. Yeah. Like just, you're dead. Yeah. That's how I would imitate a corpse. Yeah. I would just not look That's alive. Theoretically, how I would do it too. A corpse. Yeah. What else would like, like is this? Is this I don't know. But then you think of like the boat pose, and it's like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of. I'm gonna show them the camel pose too, just so they kind of see. Don't look at the screen. I'm not. Okay. I think just for a challenge, I'll I'm gonna try to do the camel. Okay, camel pose? Yeah, yeah, I'll just well no. It's gonna be boring. So is the corpse pose. Um I'll do both. They're both funny names, so like, I'll do both. Okay. I'll just do both. We'll have to save those for future guests too. Yes. Because I'll know the corpse pose and the camel pose. Okay. The corpse pose is going to be real simple for me. Yeah. So I'm going to do what I think. Okay. So camel clearly has a hump in his back. So I feel like I've got to be on all fours. And then I'm gonna try to like make my butt like like the hump. Okay, yes, I see what you're working with. Sorry for those watching. I'm trying to talk into this mic and aim the camera at the same time. I'm trying to get my my butt as poked as possible. Work it, hunty. I'm just gonna do this. That's That's your final answer. You locking it in? Yeah. That right there. Okay. Now show me the corpse pose. Yeah, they don't wear hats in hell. That's all I've got. You're dead. Quit laughing. Drop dead, buddy. Okay, so yeah. All right. I'm just going to hold a flower. That's my all right. the corpse pose. That's a solid guess. I feel like that was a... I don't know. <clears throat> I'll give you an E for creativity. Okay. Or maybe a C. I guess it would be a C for creativity. <clears throat> Why? Because that's what it starts with? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> would you, <laughs> yeah. which one would you like to see first? Uh, I want to see the camel pose. All right. So you did, you kind of, for those that are listening, he got on all fours, kind of on his hands and knees, tried to poke his butt up some to, like, make, to make, make a camel's hump. Yeah. 
Uh, I'd give you a solid like two out of ten on that one. Okay. That's the camel pose. Oh my word! Yeah. Why? I don't know. Where? That's where? what I love. Like camel gives you such a visual, and it it's definitely not <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I don't even feel bad for not getting close. Yeah. It was a little misdirection. That's why I was like, or would you want to do the camel pose? Because I was like, I knew what would have gone through my mind and probably exactly what went through your head. And so I was like, oh, camel pose. That's how yeah. it's got to be. Now, the corpse pose. Well, you said uh, it was a misdirection, but if the camera was a little lower, but because the camera wasn't as low as it was, it was a missed erection. Yeah. Because there's your corpse pose. Oh, come. <laughs> so what would you rate me out of that? I'd give you like... I mean, if you hadn't brought the flowers with you, it'd been a 10 out of 10, because you'd have just laid there with your arms. But since you had to bring your arms up on your chest with a flower and get creative with it, I'd give you a 9. Okay. You lost points because of the flower. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't make the rules. I'll take it. Yeah. Well, you kind of do. I kind of but... do, but not on this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. I also need to find a way to incorporate this, and I don't know how yet. Maybe we can get two sock monkeys. And I can pull a, I can pull something out of here, and we have to, we have to recreate it with the sock monkeys. Please, we are looking. I have sock monkeys somewhere. We are looking at a book called Sock Monkey Kama Sutra. <laughs> I'm tantric, so excited. Tantric sex positions for your naughty little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I jokingly got this for Morgan for Christmas one year because she's all about sock monkeys. Like she, so get this. She was like. We like it was like our first year dating. She's like, nobody has ever gotten me a giant stock, a giant sock monkey, and I, that's all I've ever wanted for Christmas. I just want a giant sock monkey. That's, well, you that's rectified it. that. Oh yeah, I got her a fucking six foot sock monkey. There's one sitting down in your garage that looks <laughs> at me every time I go down there. Yeah, to you know why it's down there? Because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this monkey. I was like, well, why the fuck did you want it? <laughs> well, asking you shall receive. He's down there. Yeah, he's down there. Old, uh, what's she name him? Sorcelan S. I don't know. I'm she named him her. something. But, uh, so I got her, I got her that. I got her, like, a bunch of little, just, just a bunch of random sock monkeys. We got, like, a Halloween sock monkey, like, Christmas sock monkey. I got, like, a bus full of sock monkeys. So I've got sock monkeys to put towards this Kama Sutra. Is she not in there? She is. Oh, she's asleep. Well then. Anyways, we we'll go ahead and reset this uh, thing. But yeah, I've got I've got a number of sock monkeys that we can put towards. Hell, we could do the sock monkey Kama Sutra. Bring up the six foot sock monkey, and then we could just that'll be a challenge. We have Dude. to recreate the sex position with the sock monkey with the six foot sock. <laughs> yes, that is such a chill challenge. In that corner from now. That is what the... we do. That's what we make a permanent challenge for our guests. Oh, when the yes. guests come in, they that, don't even get. To that's what the they have to do. Is just we pull a we pull a. Kama Sutra. I just want to read some of these tasty little... And then... We... Go ahead. Somebody took the time to create that book. Pick a number. Probably between like 1 and 40. I don't know how many pages are in this book. Mm, 24. Congress of the Cow. <laughs> <laughs> Congress of the Cow. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Kama Sutra for your sock monkeys. From the ancient text, when a girl sock monkey stands on her hands and feet, and her lover mounts her like a powerful sock bull, it is called the Congress of the Cow. <laughs> it, may be, it may be difficult for the girl sock monkey to keep her balance in this position. It is important that her partner supports himself by holding her tail with both paws, thus keeping the girl sock monkey upright as he thrust. And that's just a little, just a little taste. <laughs> Man, I got all tuned up from that one. Wow, it's I'm pretty excited for that. Me too. <laughs> and that is what we call viral on TikTok, <laughs> right? You reading Kama Sutra, sex monkey. I need like, like flowing water and like real gentle music behind me as I read it. Yes, you. That's gonna be a whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Excerpts. From the Sock Monkey Kama Sutra. And it just... Tantric sex positions for your naughty little monkey. (laughs) (laughs) 
I'm so happy. I'll start a whole ASMR channel about that. Yes. Dude, I mean, you talk about quality. Like, you put quality into that, mm-hmm. four videos, <laughs> and you're rolling with like 30, 40,000 subs. Yeah. Done. We put all this work into the podcast. And that to fucking make... cock monkey Sama Sutra is going to take off. Sama Kutra? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Soma. Soma Coochie. That's hotter <clears throat> than a hoochie coochie. Well, I'll tell you what. Mm-hmm. I am feeling the effects of all this sugar <laughs> from this pint. Are almost, you? I'm almost done with the uh, pint of ice cream. I think I'm getting a headache, too. That's good, because we still got like 45 minutes, so. <laughs> no, we can cut it short a little bit shorter if we need to. And what are we doing after this, Trey? Uh, well, if you don't pass out from a sugar high, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to stream some Cuphead on our YouTube channel. First ever. Not that it matters to those that are watching, because this is already going to have happened. But we might make it a uh, a Patreon thing to where you can watch our past live streams. Yeah. Because we want to give you an incentive to, to hang out with us live. Mm-hmm. Like, we want to meet you guys. We yeah. hope you want to meet us, if you're a fan of the show. And we want to interact with you um, on our YouTube channel. Yeah, come wh- chill with us. While we go live. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create something. I'm almost finished. I told myself I was going to do this. I told uh-huh. you in the gas station I was going to do it. So I've got just a little bit of ice cream left uh-huh. in this Snickers oh, that's right. pint. And I've got a carbonated beverage mm-hmm. that may rhyme with fang. And the flavor is bangsterberry. I thought it rhymed with wang. Yeah. <laughs> wang energy. So <laughs> Big wang energy. Wang. <laughs> that's the end of it. Wang. <laughs> um, I'm going to pour it in this cup to make a little uh, energy float. Okay. Now, this is this should be ASMR-esque. It didn't make a noise at all. <laughs> that was disappointing. How do you know? The mic may have picked it up. It may have. Oh, it's all foamy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it looks... Mm. <laughs> Worth it? It's worth the experience. I don't know that it's that great. <laughs> I should have brought the fucking blender in. <laughs> you could have blended it up and made a milkshake. Could have. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like a fruity energy drink mixed with Briar's ice cream. Well, there you go. Or Snickers. She hates milkshakes. Morgan? Yeah. Because it's watered down ice cream. Oh come on! Yeah. What about really thick? She likes she liked the uh, frosty though, right? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, I guess. I mean, she likes the frosty, but like, if she had the option between like ice cream and a frosty. She go ice cream every time. Okay. Ice cream and a milkshake. Ice cream every time. Me too. I do milk. Uh, ice cream. Yeah. Shit, pelicans at some point. They've got a dill pickle. Uh, ice. It's really good. Like an icy? Mm-hmm. Dill pickle icy. Like a snowball ice cream? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, the shaved ice? Yeah, that's pretty good. I could see that. You can fight me. It's good. I mean, your first thought is going to be frozen pickle juice, but... Your first thought is frozen pickle juice. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you, it's not. It's better. Fight him. Fight me. Also, pineapple on pizza is pretty good, too. <laughs> I don't hate it. That's not my first... I'm uh, getting a spam call. Take it. Speaker. Take it? Yeah. I hate talking to spam people. I'll talk to them. They hung up. Well, neither one of us is talking to them now. Yeah. Normally, we don't get calls on the podcast. They're calling about my student debt loans. Student loan debt. (laughs) And uh, I don't don't have student loans. Mm. Never have any. I get them all the time. Is this Kimberly? No, it's not. Just like I don't have a car warranty. I drive a moped. Yeah. I'll <laughs> yeah. moped mo over here. <laughs> <laughs> Just spit. <sighs> so, moped, I'm just not pouring it on the ground. the ground. All right, well, we've hit about the hour mark. Let's go ahead and talk about our creator of the week. We can do. We can segue into that. Yeah. What do you think? Absolutely. And then we'll come out. It'll probably be enough time for me to hit a challenge, and then we'll get ready to gear up and stream. Yes. I'm excited for that. Me too. I want enough time that we can work out some kinks because we haven't done it on my computer yet. So, 
Yeah, we might. Who knows? We we'll need to can't. test stream and stuff like that just to make sure. Well, and and too because it's coming from your PC. If we did a link, if we just like Elgato'd it, yeah, yeah, then there'd be less to worry about. Yeah, but since it's coming on your coming through your PC, might have some bugs. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see. Um, but we're gonna talk about Ando Valentine. Yes. Um, so I met Ando. I'm trying to think how long it's been now. Two thousand seventeen, I think, is when it was. Two thousand seventeen, two thousand eighteen. So going on about three, four years ago now. Okay. Um, and Ando had their own convention, AndoCon. That is so impressive to me. Oh, dude. So they had like, I want to say it was like, I guess it was like a, a board game kind of convention, like for for board game creators and things like that. Yeah. Um, the way I got invited and wound up there in Georgia is uh, I was working with Vincent at the time with Vindicated Entertainment and Spell Singers so we went down there uh, I don't know how Vincent found AndoCon or how he got involved or you know got a, a booth down there at AndoCon uh, but we traveled down there and set up and sold Spell Slingers decks to people and <clears throat> actually that first night got to hang out with Ando and a bunch of his friends uh, in their hotel room Oh, which was pretty cool. We just kind of chilled and hung out and talked for a few hours, played some games, and then, you know, went back to bed in our own hotel room. Uh, but that was a lot of fun. That's where I met Ando. Now, Ando does... Uh, the the main thing is their podcast. Uh, Ando has a podcast called Shadows of a Dark Past, and it has been nominated for seven, I believe. I'll have to double check. I think it's seven... Um, I don't remember what the awards. It was like a podcast award. But it's not, yeah. I forget what it's called. Uh, it was for 2020, though. Yeah, it was for 2020. For its seven awards, uh, which is awesome. It is. I sampled a little bit of it before uh, before we got on here. Yeah. And it sounds really good. So Ando wrote all of that, produced it, brought these people together, uh, some friends of his, and then some, I don't know if it was friends of theirs or if like... Like friends of friends, how like how the whole cast got together, but Ando pretty much cast this crew mm -hmm. and then produced it, directed it, and did all of that and put it together. And yeah, that is so incredible. If you're not familiar with Shadows of a Dark Past, uh, it, it's basically I'm trying to think. I don't know if it just takes place in the world of Dark Shadows. For those of you that don't know, Dark Shadows was a TV show, an American TV show that came out. Mm. It's been a while. I don't look, know when it actually aired. Old. Yeah, and then was rebooted into a uh, yeah. Movie. There was a movie starring Johnny Depp called Dark Shadows. Um, so it's kind of paying homage to Dark Shadows, the TV show, because from what I understand, that was one of Ando's favorite TV shows growing up, if not his favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or their favorite. Sorry. And so they've got Shadows of a Dark Past. I know mm -hmm. they do music. I just I couldn't find any of it online. I know there's music. I know I've heard Ando playing music. I've seen them with a guitar, things like that. Well, there were pictures of them with a guitar. Yeah, yeah, with a guitar. So I know there's music out there it was somewhere. On but stage I, somewhere, right? Yeah, I want to say they've they've gone around different uh, local places in Georgia and played, like performed, like live. Um, so there's that, and I know they've they've had recordings. I've seen them, and I've heard them. I just don't know where they are. They're not on their website, so they may have they may have taken that down. Maybe they're okay. maybe they yeah. It's one of those things where not it's like trying maybe to focus on that. Yeah, maybe not trying right to focus now. on that. Um, they also do, they write. Uh, when we did Vindicated Entertainment, Ando also helped and pitched in. Uh, we had a game called Legendaria, and Ando made a, like a legend, like a Star Trek module for Legendaria. So adapted oh. Legendaria where you could play it as like, like as a Star Trek crew member, which was kind of cool. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, so just medley of things but if you want to keep up with Ando and everything that they are doing you can find them <clears throat> on Twitter at I believe it's just at Ando Valentine I'm not as familiar with with their work as you are but from the stuff that I watched and saw or listened to should I say yeah uh, really intriguing stuff so if you are just a connoisseur of good content I recommend checking out mm -hmm. their work so it is at Ando Valentine uh, I'm going to go ahead and show it right here for the camera for those watching so that they can see it so they know what they're looking for if it'll focus it never wants to focus there we go and, and that's their Twitter yep Twitter uh, if you'd like to support them you can find them on coffee 
I think it's coffee, ko-fi.com slash Ando Valentine. You can support them there. Right now they're working towards a streaming dongle. Uh, that is their goal. Um, and it says, I'm working on getting into streaming myself, playing video games to expand my online presence. Uh, they have everything they need uh, to do a computer-based stream, but if they want to air anything from a console, they're missing a piece of equipment. Um, I think they want to do like Super Mario, like some old like NES, Super Nintendo kind of stuff oh, uh, yeah. to stream. With that... Well, I guess they could do an emulator, but right. Well, uh, and that's the, what they're working towards is the streaming dongle. And the cost of of having a a professional stream can get pricey. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, make sure you go and support them with that piece of equipment. Yep. If you're looking into getting into like podcasting and stuff yourself, you can also hit up their website at Ando Valentine Productions. Um, they help you with. Uh, mixing, production, uh, producing and directing, screenplay, writing and editing, original music composition, wow. uh, Foley and audio engineering. Um, okay. So for those that don't know what Foley is, like Foley is like your sound effects. Um, and even voice acting. Um, so they can chip in in all those different areas. I'm not sure of the cost. I think you'll have to hit hit them up and then like you know email them and see. Maybe they'll work with a price depending on what it is that you need done. Um, so they does do that. Ando teach the voice acting? Or are they skilled in that? Or are is I think I think it part offers of... like they would they would voice act like if you're looking for voice actors oh, obviously oh, from I, Shadows oh, of the Dark I, Past I, I but, yeah they could hook you. you up with professional voice actors like if you needed an extra like if you let's say you recruit somebody yeah if you needed to recruit somebody they could help you there sorry yeah I believe that's what it, it it doesn't really expand upon that so I'm not sure but that's what I would imagine but they may um, and you can also find them at theamazingando.com um, let's see. One stop me... shop for just yeah. about anything. Yeah, won't let me pull that one up. Um, but then, if you wanted to do Shadows of a Dark podcast, you can find that on Podchaser, iTunes, Spotify, uh, pretty much wherever you listen to podcasts. Minus YouTube, I don't know if they have it on YouTube. I didn't see it on YouTube. Um, so yeah, that is Ando and everything that they do. That's amazing. What a good content creator for the week. Yeah. I don't know. We were we were looking, trying to find a content creator, and I, I stumbled across their Facebook page, and I was like, oh yeah, Ando. I was like, I didn't even think about him. And then you started that. Ran. You started rattling yeah. off their portfolio, and I was like, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I heard the podcast a little bit, and I thought, this is this is cool stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm looking so, forward to listening to that. Yeah. Like, so I'm gonna get into that. Check them out. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, follow them on Twitter. Keep up to everything they're doing. Um, I know they're on Facebook, but I don't know, like, I don't know how linked that is, so I'm not going to give out a Facebook. Yeah. But, yeah. Ando. Awesome. Hey, what's up, you guys? Trey here. Uh, night before, actually, so not really doing this the day of. I just wanted to go ahead and knock this out of the way. Um, pardon the interruption. I'm not really sure if we did, like, a cut-in, if we mentioned it on this episode or not. I may have to put this in somewhere random. Anyways, uh, getting on to our... Amazon gift card winner for this episode. I just wanted to keep it fair since the other people that entered. So we've got four entrants for this uh, this giveaway. And those four are Golf Tango Zwu, who has already won. We have Fernanda L, who has also already won. She was, our, I believe, our first winner. And then we also have Liz, who won, I want to say, two weeks ago. And then we have Morel Zach. So just in keeping it fair, um, I wanted to give this week's gift card to Morel Zach, since he has not won yet. And next week, we'll start over. So let's say, Fernanda, you can go ahead and win again. Um, We'll do it that way. I just want to try and keep it fair and keep as many people winning as possible. That way we don't have too many, uh, I guess, repeats. Um, so this week we have Morel Zach is the winner of the $5 gift card. So congratulations, Morel. I know it's been a long time coming. You've been following us. Uh, I've seen you on our YouTube commenting. I've seen you retweeting, liking our posts, interacting with us. So congratulations, Morel. Thank you for all of your support. Uh, if you'd like to be a winner, all you have to do is like and retweet our pinned post every week. Um, so for this upcoming episode, it's going to be episode 11. Uh, is this episode. And so just retweet and like this pinned tweet and then follow us so that we can DM you for details. Um, anyways, back to us. So when it comes to content creation, we uh, we had a visit yesterday mm-hmm. from our good buddy, 
old Ryan James Mannion, or as my Ryan uh, mm -hmm. affectionately named him today, the Grand Mannion. <laughs> the Grand Mannion. Yep. yep. And he uh, he has a lot of stuff he wants to do with us. Oh, yeah. He wants to recruit us for, and I'm excited just to create. Me too. Act. Just, I so it's it. going to be, the concept is like a sketch comedy troupe, basically. Yeah. Uh, like your balloon shop, your mm -hmm. uh, kids in the hall, your kids in the hall. whitest kids you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, even dipping into like, you could you could say SNL, uh, what did he say? Hell shop? No, hell something. I don't know. There was another one that he said, he's, he's supposed to show us at some point. His big focus, he, you went into the kitchen and he goes... Make sure he watches kids in the hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. No. Well, you failed because I haven't. I mean, I've I've seen kids in the hall, but you haven't made sure that I've watched it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Mannion. So yeah, that's uh that's what we're looking at doing here in the next couple of weeks. Getting all well, I don't know. As of this airing, as of the airing of this episode, not the recording. Um, this will air in about two weeks. So. We Who knows? Have, we may actually have content up uh, with that. Man, we need a good, uh, another good day or two of weather, so mm -hmm. that we can finish what we had worked on before. Commercials, commercials, ads that got completely demolished, yeah. and corrupted, shelved. shelved, shelved temporarily. I mean, we have so many ideas for ads and commercials that I'm ready to shoot. Same. Um, and we put we pumped out the one. Need mm -hmm. a break. Need a break. Just past one thousand views. Whoop whoop. And that is pretty exciting to me. Yeah. So, I still watch it. I still crack up. <laughs> and I cannot. You're wait. You're at least two hundred of those views. I've got to be. <laughs> um, not counting the times I've watched it on TikTok either. Yeah. So, which if you're watching and you want like a lot of little micro. Uh, pieces of micro content from us. TikTok. Our, our TikTok isn't bad. And official CS Pod. Just like all of our other social meds. You can find us at Official CS Pod. Yeah, I mean, we are... And if you're here from TikTok, welcome. Hey, Thank hey. you for joining us. Thanks. <laughs> Glad you liked it enough to come hang out. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, the the effort is, is being put in. Like, yeah. we're, we're, you know, we're not doing two to three a day. I just, I don't know why I can't get behind... Two to three a day, it just seems so watered down. Because at some point, the quality yeah. is going to start to suffer. I agree, and that's not what we're about. We we want to put out quality, quality. Um, even if it's with our cell phones, we want to take yeah. our time to to make it um, digestible and entertaining. Well, we we've talked about it before. The the I guess it was the last episode we talked about. You want your content quality to be phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Content quality is more important than production quality in my opinion now there's a there's a fine line where you need to balance that you know um to an extent so for instance if like take spooky for an ex for, for instance um it i intentionally shoot it to where it looks like it's made on a vhs cassette because that's my gimmick that's what i'm going for and people right. understand that it makes sense Old so, school campfire. So, yeah, so production quality as far as like the way it looks, it's not the best looking because it's not supposed to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so but I went I went into it with that in mind. Like I, I it, it's not that I like shot the first thing and I went, Well, maybe I just throw this filter on it or, you know, do this and make it look oh, okay, that looks pretty good. No, I intentionally wanted it to have that eighties, nineties like VHS look yeah. because I was going for like a Tales from the Crypt kind of vibe. And you pull it off well because while it does capture that vintage mm -hmm. uh, ambiance, it still looks quality. Yeah. It's so crisp. As far as production quality, it's not the greatest, but the content quality is there. And, and I, I chose that I chose that for a reason. Um, but if you're going into it and you're not thinking about it, you're solely... Like, let's say you have a, a great camera and you you just don't... But you, you don't really know what you're doing or you don't care as much and you're like ah that shot looks good enough like content quality seriously can't only get you so like it'll get you 90% of the way there but that other 10% is going to be your your production quality the, the amount of work you put in the did you break it no I was <laughs> trying to get, make sure it's it's tight enough so it doesn't go flopping over again but you get what I'm saying I, I hope that makes sense no like, it totally does that and that 10% is important yeah um, 
because you the competition is out there. Yeah. We live in a world where at some point people started to realize I can actually make a living mm-hmm. from content creation, not yeah. work your traditional nine to five. So it, it, people started to set the bar higher and higher yep. and higher. And now if somebody says, all I have to do is beg uh, Aunt Gladys for a thousand bucks, I can have a really nice looking camera. Oh yeah. Nice setup. Yeah. And make sure I'm, I'm set apart. That was a, just a Windows reminder. Okay. I was, I was like, what was that? Got a little worried. Yeah, I did too. I was like, damn it. Yeah. And if you're somebody who also has the the quality of content there, or a good yeah. quality, you're that sets you apart. And so in my opinion, if you it, so if you're if you're sitting here and you've got let's say you're ninety percent on content quality, but you're only two percent on production quality. You can get a lot further than somebody that has sixty percent content quality but 40% production. Like, I know the percentage. Yeah. Basically, you can get a lot further with great content quality, but you're, you know, the look of it and the production suffers a little bit than somebody that has a phenomenal setup and a great camera and great sound. I agree. But it just sucks. Like, it's just not interesting. You're going to get much further with your content quality overall. Totally agree. Content is and forever will be king. Mm-hmm. That's why you and I laughed our butts off at Balloon Shop. <laughs> yeah. Which the quality... Hey, Ben! For nowadays... Ben! <laughs> ben! <laughs> what you got there, Ben? Meat. Meat. <laughs> um, you boys quit that whipping. Um, yeah, the quality of that is... I mean, it... Yeah. It was like over t- 10, I don't know, roughly well, yeah, 10 Yeah, and I ago. mean... <clears throat> That that harkens back to like in my in my opinion, and you can fight me on this one too. Kind of the golden age of YouTube, like it was the wild west, and creativity was king. It wasn't people trying to push out cookie cutter content to fit into a mold to get yep. the most subscribers. That didn't matter. Just it was because people, it's a- aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, it was people making content that they enjoyed, that they thought was funny, that they wanted to put out in the world and say, "Hey, I think other people will enjoy this." And if they didn't. Fuck it. Who cares? We made it. We had fun with it. And you know what? It's not for everybody. Yeah, and I, not to say that people don't do that now. It's just that YouTube has fallen into this formulaic rut. It really has. It, it, like, you know, it's it's so hard to to really do anything on YouTube in the sense that, like, if you're not following these trends, and you're, I mean, same same way with it, with TikTok in some regards. Uh, yeah. But if you're not following these trends, you're not doing. Everything that the big YouTubers are doing, it's so hard to really garner a following. I feel like everybody has to start, or at least there for like a solid six or seven years. It'd be you'd be hard pressed to find a video that didn't start with, "Hey guys, what's going on?" Yeah, like don't start it that way. Yeah, that's why when I started my uh, YouTube channel, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not just going to boot up and hit record or hit start streaming. Yeah, I made sure that my finger was in front of the webcam. I dropped it and said, salutations, good people. Yeah. I was not going to start with, what's up, guys? How's it going? I'm the Scottish Hush Puppy. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm going to do my accent. My finger's going to be pointing at you. That's going to yeah. be the first thing you see. Yeah. So, yeah, you got to have originality. And that quality of of the content, it's only going to get you so far mm-hmm. because you're going to you're going to click a button you're going to see this nice, beautiful, crisp setup, yeah. whether you're watching a streamer or a video or whatever. And if the if the content isn't there... <laughs> the streamer's just like... Yeah. Or the person, whatever, it doesn't... It, even beyond streaming, if they're just... Anything. Like, if what they're saying is just not entertaining... You might see the setup. That might be what hooks you. Yeah. But you're not going to stay long. You know, people probably say the same thing about us. Like, these motherfuckers just hark on and on about dicks and well, whatever here's the else thing. Like, the, the quality <laughs> of this camera that's not what's pulling them in yeah yeah you're right so you're right big dog you're right if uh if it's our content that pulls them in yeah then they're they're staying yeah because the camera's only gonna get better uh-huh that's it production like, quality is only gonna get better that's the thing is uh if you look at our videos it, every it's changed almost every something has been yeah. added now we've got the, the, the third, third mic. mic i'm proud of us for yeah. putting all this together so like it's so much easier to increase your production quality than it is to increase your content quality. Because content quality requires putting in actual work. You can always get more money. Yeah, you can, to, yeah, to you can work, stuff. save up, you can get a better looking camera. Hell, a lot of the cameras nowadays, even if you don't know how to use them, they still look good. 
Yeah. Yeah. As long as you put a light behind it and just kind of set it up just right, it can still look good. Right. But if you, if you don't know how to get in front of a camera or a microphone or whatever and talk and draw people's attention. Make some magic happen. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. And that's not to say that it can't be worked on. It's just much more difficult to work on something like that. So when you go into your, when you're, when you're starting your YouTube channel, when you start your podcast, when you start whatever it is that you want to create, that should be the first thing that you focus on is how am I going to, well, first of all, you need to make sure that it's something that you enjoy. And I was going to say, fun. yeah, yeah. Because spoiler yeah. alert, they're going to, they're going to be, yeah, you're going to be found out. Yeah. But beyond that, you need to, you need to learn how do I talk to these people? How do I come across as entertaining? Like, why are they good? Why are they watching me? What's going to make them watch me? Right. What makes me stand out? And, and it could be your personality, but if you're shy in front of a camera, you need to work on that. You need to be able to bring that personality out because if you, you're hiding behind this wall because you're afraid of a microphone or a camera or whatever it may be, and you, you can't shine, they're never going to know. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Yeah. I know a lot of people in my life who, who, don't exactly, uh, let's say, what am I looking to say? Um, they've suffered a lot because mm-hmm. they were not vulnerable. Yeah. They just don't know how to be. Mm-hmm. Now, and we're taught our whole lives to stay, like our brains were made to stay kind of like shut up inside a little bit. Yeah, especially with the, <laughs> and it, it, it hasn't, it hasn't gotten worse with social media to an extent. But, like, I feel like we're conditioned with social media. Like, if we don't put out our best, like, we have to put on this facade, this mm-hmm. fake, like, everything's great in my life. I went, to, I went to, I drove down to Key West. I went and stayed at Key West for three days, and it was phenomenal. And I had a blast. But then don't talk about, you know, everything else. Like, you know what I'm saying? All like, the other that's, issues. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, that's how we're becoming conditioned as humans to treat. Exactly. I guess our lives. And it's kind of sad. Right. And then you meet these people, and you're like, oh, your life's a crap show. Yeah, and you're sitting there the whole time you're thinking, you're comparing yourself to these people going, oh my God, I wish I could be them. And right. they're drinking themselves to death or whatever. Like, you never exactly. know. Yeah, you just don't ever know. But <clears throat> that's where this uh, issue with being vulnerable, we'll put it out on social media. Well, if you're going to take that much time to make yourself look like a god or a goddess yeah. on social media... Why don't you take that energy, mm-hmm. bottle it, and go put it into your content? Yeah, and and be real for once. Yeah, because there's only one of you. Gary Vaynerchuk said it. Uh, something on like, the way he said it was perfect. Uh, he said, "If you don't think you have something unique to offer, stop for a second. Realize that there's nobody that can offer what you offer. You are a yeah. very unique person. Because guess what? There's only one of you. Uh-huh. That sounds really cheesy and cliche to say. Well, that's true though. But there is something that you do better than everybody you know. Mm-hmm. There's something. Dig deep. Find out what that is. See how you can offer that to somebody and give value. And that's where you have to be honest with yourself. Exactly. Which a lot of people have a difficult time doing. And yeah, it is what it is. I get it. Right. Well, I've I've noticed and figured out that I get, like, there were days where I would get really excited to stream. Yeah. Like, really happy. But there's been so many more consistent podcast days, and we've not even done that many of them. Yeah. I've streamed this probably. Is 11, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, but there's so many days where I'll like wake up and I'm like, it's podcast day. Yeah. Like, I get actually excited. So I feel the same way with Spook You. Spoiler alert. I haven't uploaded on Spook You since February, I think. Oh, okay. Maybe January. Maybe January at this point. Maybe going on three months. Yeah. Um, and it's because I reached that exact point where I wake up and I go, I need to get that video out. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, yeah. uh, I got to. I should, I should probably work on that. And I've said I should probably work on that for at least three months now. I'd yeah. wake up every day and go, I should probably work on that. And it gets shelved. Yeah. But I wake up on a Tuesday and go, that's podcast day. Yeah. You know? Well, I know for me too, this, the whole streaming thing, the entertaining through a computer versus entertaining live. Yeah. With wrestling, getting immediate feedback. Oh, yeah. Getting that pop. All of that energy, all of that energy, all of the pops. Yeah. yeah. That's immediate feedback immediate, immediate gratification exactly mm-hmm. so if i make a joke on stream 
and I don't hear somebody laugh. Yeah. I'm not as into the joke. It's just, and I'll see somebody uh, say in the chat, ha, 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 that was a good one. And I'm yeah. like, did they mean it? Yeah, like, uh, thanks. Thanks, man. That was a good, solid yeah. piece of content there. But I tell you a joke, you laugh. Yeah. I'm having yeah. a lot more fun because I get that that immediate feedback. What about this one? I'm going to get my hand out of here. Mother. Ooh, red. What is it? Apple lighter. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> We hadn't seen this little guy in a while. No, we haven't. So those of you wondering what an epilator is, you can pause this video real quick, go back to episode three and watch it. It's, the, yeah, that's the, it's the episode with the thumbnail of... Episode five. Episode three, five. A new challenge approaches. I don't know. I don't a remember new challenge approaches. I gotta go find said epilator. Ep- epilator. I'll just uh, sit here. So I just got, I'm waiting on Trey to come back, but I got a notification on my phone on TikTok, um, that Quincy's Tavern just went live. Now, if you're on TikTok and you're into medieval, um, Lord of the Rings style uh, content, um, it's such a cool thing that he's got going. Quincy's Tavern, um, he's he's on TikTok. He he also streams on Twitch. I don't know what he is or what he's called on Twitch, but. The idea is that it's his tavern. He always says, hello, traveler, or something like that. And, uh, you know, he he makes some, um, like, old school, like, dishes. Um, like, something you would eat. Like, if you're playing Skyrim and you walk into a tavern, something that they would serve there. I can't, I'm not going to be able to think of anything off the top of my head right now. But um, uh, he normally has a story behind it. He Like, he, he crosses over, you know, one world into the other, like the lore. He just, oh, there we go. Epilator has entered the building. But if you need something to do on TikTok, check out Quincy's Tavern because it's just a fun, like, just binge all of his videos, and it's going to make you feel good inside. You're going to wish that this place actually existed, which um, fun. He, I'll have to show you. Yeah. Um, he uh, He's working on creating a physical location, and it just, I don't know, if you're somebody who suffers from anxiety or or depression or anything just subscribe he's worth downloading the app in my opinion because it just makes you feel good i have to show you trey's okay. now back but yeah i just want to give him a quick little plug what am i cause... doing um well morgan is the epilating queen she voted underarm she voted underarm yeah okay well if you do your underarm this is going to get like it's, it's, it's a tiktok it's a it's a twitter video It just doesn't sound fun. <laughs> it doesn't sound fun at all. Um, I don't. Uh, <laughs> that was her vote. I wish Let's we see. could. I wish we were live that we could put it to a vote. Yeah. Well, you did your. Uh, your ass. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't doing it. Uh, on camera, but you did your. <laughs> you I did, did my arm last. Arm time. last. You did time. your leg. I did my leg. I still have a a bald patch on my leg yeah. from the epilator. Dude, yeah, mine's still kind of. Well, well, I mean, you can see where, and that's been what, like five, six weeks ago. It tweezes the hair. It doesn't. Yeah. It's this is not a razor, ladies yeah, yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah. These are epil- individual little, I don't know, demons. It looks <laughs> like a. Um, it looks like the inside of a wood chipper. It really does. That's what it looks like. The wheels look like a little uh, miniature wood chipper. So, it doesn't I just, just I shave. It's like some kind of weird magic like I don't, I, I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm like I don't know how it actually works I haven't seen it up close either I'm stalling at this point I feel like it's it maybe just pulls like it gets yeah. tighter and, and just pulls your hair out of you it, it's a tweezer it's an electric tweezer I didn't like my belly oh my god well I feel like that wouldn't be too bad I don't know I mean I could do my leg like I there's, mean, there's options you have an award winning podcast sir yeah I'm gonna say armpit. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I need to figure out how to use it. Like, how do you use it? Uh, Trey's gonna do spin it. Spin the thingy. Spin it. Yeah. Spin, spin it. 
Bleh. In a circle. Oh, oh. Kicking in the high gear. All right. What would be worse, high or low? I don't know. Oh, man, you got some underarm. Holy, <laughs> holy monkey. <laughs> Why is the camera blurry? There we go. I don't know, because I, I walked in front of it. it. You pulled your arm out. Yeah. Oh, dear <laughs> Lord. Let me pull my hair out of the way so you don't get my yeah. scalp. Oh, buddy. Um... So, how am I doing this? Am I holding the camera in front of your underarm? I don't, I don't know. Just, we just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm not. <laughs> okay, so how much am I taking? I don't know. Like, maybe ha- just halfway down we'll just, your... We'll figure it out when we get there. Okay. <laughs> we'll call it in the ring. Yeah, we'll call it in the ring. <laughs> that just sounds <laughs> mean. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Okay, so for those of you just listening, um, yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll <laughs> you'll see that the content uh, is much more giving. All right, big dog. Let me make sure we can. Man, Chewbacca just <laughs> entered the building. Oh, buddy. We just get down. Yeah. Okay. Whew. You're ready for a jump. Oh, man. I feel so bad. Okay, here we go. Ah, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it pull. Ow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is press it against your bear skin. Yeah, yeah, and we'll work it. our way down. We'll work our way down, big dog. Oh, no. Okay. All right. And I'm going to start up top. I'm going to have to push mm-hmm. in, mm-hmm. and then I'll Fine. go down. Hmm. <laughs> I felt it when it hit. It just started yurt. Oh, it was so like a bad. weird vacuum cleaner. Let's see. You can't even tell. You can't even tell. I can tell. I, I felt it. Dude, I felt. Oh, how did I was sweating? I felt it in my hand. Pull like my hand. Like yeah, I felt. I pulled up. Yeah. Oh man, I feel so bad for you. <sighs> that is bad. Mhm. Okay. So, knees weak, the palm sweaty. You can see epilating moth spaghetti. <laughs> you want to go at it from a different angle? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. I kind of don't want to. Dude, your skin is getting so red. Yeah, believe it. Oh man. All right, all right, all right. More? One more again. One more again. We gotta make this worth it. Okay. I see. Ooh. I see some of the baldness. <laughs> Hang on. Let me kick it up so that it's. Strong. I think it's on high. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, this has got to be better. Sure. Faster. Yeah. It'll, it'll it's like a wax. You just go for it. Okay. Three, two. Ah! <laughs> it went, the light went red. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> it's probably because it got clogged. <laughs> said find an alternate route. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, God. Ooh. I think that's enough. Ooh. I think you've... Oh, Ooh. man. I'm sweating for you. Sweating bullets. Oh, man. Whew. Well, that'll go viral for the people that love armpits. So, <laughs> there's at least that. Yeah. Whew. 10 out of 10, don't recommend that one. Maybe if I trim them next time, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll take some hedge clippers to it first and then we go in yeah, it with the lawnmower. Get, get the stubble or, or something, oh. man. That's, yeah, I, I felt it jerk from my hand. <laughs> That's because it just, it was all that hair. It just got wrapped up in it. Yeah, it went red. I wonder if on the video you can see the light just go like DEFCON 5 red. <laughs> Ooh, worth it though. That was pretty good. Oh, That's got to be good content. If you guys don't like that, you yeah, suck it. <laughs> like I don't, you can suck all you can suck rose. rose. <laughs> <laughs> Almost named my horse that on Elder Scrolls Online. Old Rose. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a red horse. <laughs> I, I saw him. Yeah, like spawn up out of the ground. Yeah, I was like, that's a cool horse. Yeah, Old Rose. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't like the way I'm playing. You can suck Old Rose. <laughs> Oh man, that was. 
out that of was all something. The, that was an experience. All the challenges that probably entertained me the most. <laughs> Did it really? E- even you biting into the raw egg. That one, I feel like that one wasn't as. <sighs> yeah. Like the concept, it was like, oh man, biting into an egg. Yeah. So like it's really not that. Like it just pops, and then it's just kind of. There, there's no taste. There isn't. That would be the thing. Like, if it had tasted bad. Now, if we did like a raw e- or a, a rotten egg or something, that would be a challenge. Oh God, but I'm no. not doing that. Well, no, I wouldn't want anybody to do that. Yeah, but like that would be better because I feel like it would have more flavor. <laughs> I almost just said I don't want somebody to get physically hurt. Yeah, but then I just ripped your armpit <laughs> out of its socket. Oh. I had thought about face, but I was like, no, nah, I don't want it to like not grow back right. Like, yeah. or, you know, you know, like this, cause this is taking like, like seriously, it's still growing back here on my wrist. Dude, mine, I don't know that my patch of baldness on my leg <laughs> has made that much progress. That's funny. So yeah, up next, we should probably talk about our Amazon gift card winner. That's right. <laughs> we should do that. All right. Congratulations to whoever the hell that was. Yeah. Um, good for you. Buy yourself a... You can put that $5 towards your very own epilator. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Or, uh, I don't know. That was a bug. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. It was like a... It sounded like somebody threw a little rock at the window. Um, Our fans. But if they... <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey, you guys in there shooting a podcast! Hey! What? <laughs> the voices. For the hey! Kids. Hey, where you at? You shooting a podcast? You shooting a podcast, are you? Hey! Hey! Hey, listen to me, rocks. Hey. <laughs> they it. Rock, pebble, 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 brick. brick. Like, <laughs> shh. Hey! hey. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> what? Hey. How cool would it be? Like the so the room that we shoot in, it's there's big windows on the other wall. Yeah. And it looks down onto the street that you live on. So you live up on a hill. I don't yeah. know why I, I he lives up on a hill. He knows where he lives. We live up on a hill. We live up on a hill. We got a house on the hills. Yeah. On the hills. Beverly Hills. <laughs> what? <laughs> glorious. There you go. Um, we just, I see a, a day where there's 50 plus people hanging out there. Posters. Screaming our names. I don't want them to know where I live. <laughs> I don't want them in my house. That's a good point. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe if we had, like, I don't know, a warehouse on the hills that we shot, like a studio. I don't want them to come to my home address and harass me. People stood out there with air horns. We have security. Like, hey, <laughs> calm it down. Yeah. It's it's just the CS podcast, but we love Trey. But we love you. We love you. You're the best. Show me your titties. Yay. And then we, we show our... Hey, hey. What? Let me get some of that armpit hair. <laughs> you, you Epilate for me, hair. baby. Just... Throwing out the tufts. It's like Rapunzel, but... <laughs> Trey Punzel. It smells like Old Spice. Is that swag? Mm. Swagger? Mm. Swagger? Yes, yeah, swagger. So I guess in. Mm. I'm currently using Volcano. Mine is Wolfthorn. I've used Wolfthorn. Oh, I mean, it's almost like a candy. What do, you like do in, what do you do with your deodorant? It's almost like a candy. It smell like smells like a candy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It almost smells like a. I don't know. It's just like a candy yeah. smell. I don't know. I like it. Cool. I believe you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't eat it. <sighs> That's good. Yeah. Man. So, epilator. It's a good place to do it. We we doing that on camera? What? You said this is a good place to do it. Epilate. Oh. No, I was just, we're at an hour and a half. I think we've given the fans enough. I think we have. We've They've been hanging outside our house, screaming at us, watched us epilate through the windows. Throwing pebbles. Mm-hmm. We showed our tits at some point. Yeah. So. Yeah. You you took the you took the sacrifice today. Yeah. We've given them health advice. They I learned know. about Veronica, John, and Kimberly. Right. That debacle. Which I gotta we gotta keep that up. Anyways, um, that's going to do it for us. And if you've been here since the beginning of the episode, we talked about something happening at the end that uh-huh. we're quite proud of. Yeah, little, this is new. I threw little, this together. A little ditty you made. Yeah, I threw this together while you were on your business trip. You did? You had no, yeah, you had no oh, that's idea. that's right. I came back and you had created this masterpiece. I sent it to you on Facebook Messenger. 
and you never watched it, so you got to hear oh, it live in I'm person sorry. with me. <laughs> I wasn't on purpose. <laughs> no, I know. Um, Don't let it happen so, again. You got it. So we'll hit the outro, and then we'll get it and walk away. That way, if this gets if it gets a uh, little little flaggy poo dropped yeah. on it, then we can just cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We will. Until next time, I've been the Scottish Ash Puppy, and I got some food to go eat. And until then, my ghastly gang, stay spooky. Create shit. Build anything. Make it real. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belfort. Stacking penny stocks.